Okay, I've entered the PAL codes and disengaged the safety device. We can launch any time. There's still no response from Washington. It looks like we'll have to show them that we mean business. Should I set it for Chernerton, Russia? No. There's been a change. The new target is Lopnor, China. Why, boss? I'm sure neither you nor Mr. Golukovich would really like to see a nuclear bomb dropped on your motherland, right? Liquid. But why? There's nothing there. Wrong. It's a nuclear test site. A nuclear test site? If we nuke a major population center, the game's over. But a nuclear explosion at a test site can still be concealed from the public. Meanwhile, Washington will be worried about the retaliatory strike from China. That'll probably mean top-secret talks between both countries' leaders. Of course. And in the process, the President will be forced to divulge the existence of a new and highly destabilizing nuclear weapon to the Chinese. What do you think that will do to the U.S.'s reputation? Or the President's? And with the CTBT, that means that China and India... I see. Yes. When the other countries hear about this new weapon, they'll all want to contact us. Washington won't be very happy when we start selling their own system to the highest bidders. Yes, the president will break. He will give in to our demands. Big Boss's DNA and one billion dollars. Billion dollars? That money will be used to cure our genome soldiers as well. I'm also including the Fox Dye vaccine in our demands. Fox Dye. It killed Octopus and the Armstech president. So it's true that it affects older people first. Mantis might not have been affected because he wore a mask. Wolf wasn't infected either. Perhaps due to those tranquilizers she always took. Something to do with the adrenaline level in the blood. Or maybe it's just because this fox dye was still experimental and they haven't worked out all the bugs yet. In any case, have you heard from your friend, Colonel Sergei Golukovich, at the Spetsnaz? He still has doubts about the ability of Metal Gear. He said we can talk after Metal Gear's test launch is successful. Hmm, he's a very prudent man. There's nothing to worry about. The Colonel wants Metal Gear and a new nuclear weapon so bad he can taste it. If Russia wants to regain its position as a military superpower, they need to reinforce their nuclear arsenal. They need a nuclear weapon that can't be intercepted. Metal Gear will allow them to gain first strike capability over the rest of the world. Their regular army is in shambles, and they think they can restore their country's military power with nuclear weapons? Galukovich, he's no warrior. He's a politician. Well, he's the one who gave us the hind and most of our other heavy firepower. He's got over a thousand soldiers under his command. If we join forces, we could put up quite a resistance here. Since Mantis died, the genome soldiers' brainwashing has started to wear off. I'm worried about the man's morale. An alliance with the Russians would boost that as well. What are you saying? We're not going anywhere. We're going to dig in here. We could still escape. We've got the most powerful weapon ever made, and we're about to ally with Golukovich's forces. Are you going to fight the whole world? And what's wrong with that? We can launch a nuclear warhead at any target on this planet. A nuclear warhead invisible to radar. And on top of that, this base is full of spare nuclear warheads. Once we get the DNA and the money, the world will be ours! What about your promise to Colonel Golukovich? I have no interest in the revival of Mother Russia. You're not thinking of reviving Big Boss's dream. From today, call this place a Outer Heaven. Big Boss's dream. But Boss, you're not worried about the PAL being overridden. If the code is in it again, it'll be deactivated. No need to worry. The DARPA chief and the Armstech president are both dead. Does Snake know how the override system works? You interrogated him, don't you know? He didn't have any keys on him. Good. Then no one can stop Metal Gear now. By the way, what should we do with that woman? Want me to kill her? Let her live. She's Campbell's niece, and Snake cares for her. We'll keep her as our ace in the hole. Meryl. She's alive.
Snake. I found Baker's top secret files. Great job. How's it going there? They've finished inputting the PAL codes. So how do we deactivate them? Okay, you see the override system that the President was talking about. It can also be used to input the detonation codes. You see, if you insert the keys when the warhead is active, you deactivate it. And if you insert them when it's inactive, it becomes activated. And you can only use the keys once. Only once, huh? Yeah. You better get started. We don't have much time. But it takes three keys, right? I've only got one of them. Hold on a minute. You see, that's the trick. You already have all three keys. What are you talking about? The card key is made of a shape memory alloy. Shape memory alloy? Yes. It's a material that changes shape at different temperatures. The key is made out of it. This card key? Yeah. The card key changes shape at different temperatures. So this key is actually three keys in one. Clever. Can you see the input terminals in the center of the control room? I see them. Those three laptop terminals are for the emergency input. There should be a symbol on each screen. Each symbol corresponds to a different key. Input the keys in order from left to right. The left one's for the room temperature key. See the symbol? Next to that goes the low temperature key. The one on the right is the high temperature key. Okay, I got it. First I change the shape of the card and then I input them in order, right? That's right. All you do is insert the card keys. After you insert the key into the module, a hard disk reads the information contained on it. Once you've finished with all three terminals, the code input process is complete. But here's the thing. You can only use the key three times. It's an emergency system. It's only meant to be used once. The world is riding on that key, Snake. Who's that? Damn! on the drainage ditch. Snake! This is bulletproof glass. There's no way in. I'll enjoy watching you die. <laughs> Snake, you've got to get that key. codes. The only way to stop the launch now is to use the card key to re-input the codes. Find that key. It fell somewhere in that drainage ditch. You lost the key? Hurry up and find it. They've already entered the detonation code. The only way to stop that launch is to lock the system by re-inputting the detonation codes.
the terrorists are finished inputting the detonation codes. The only way to stop the launch now is to re-input the detonation codes to lock the detonation mechanism. You need that key to do it. Find that key, Snake. There's no other way. You lost the key? Hurry up and find it. They've already entered the detonation code. If you use the mine detector, you should be able to find the key, even if it fell into the drainage ditch. Whatever you do, find that key. didn't you? The drainage ditch. Isn't there something odd about it? No. There are a lot of big rats, though. That's it, Snake. A rat must have eaten it. Now who's being ridiculous? No, I'm right. There's no other possibility. Rats eat all sorts of things. There's nothing unusual about that. Get that card key back from the rat. Why don't you watch its route and set up a trap for it with a C4 or something? Put the PAL codes. Stop that launch! You got the card key back? Good job. Now hurry to the control room.
so that unless it's been changed to the correct shape, it won't be recognized by the PAL code input terminal in the control room, and the detonation code won't be entered. Change shape. 
Hurry up to the control room, Snake. might change shape. You need to hurry on the way back.
Snake. It's about Naomi Hunter. Then you should talk to the Colonel. He's looking into it. Turn your monitor off. Okay, it's off. No one else can hear us. Go ahead. Sorry, but I didn't want the Colonel to hear. Okay, so what's up? I've got a good friend in the Pentagon. Yeah? He's the one who told me about it. It looks like the DIA recently developed a new type of assassination weapon. An assassination weapon? Snake, have you ever heard of something called Fox Dye? No. Fox Dye. Liquid and the others were talking about it. Yeah. It's some kind of virus that, that targets specific people. I don't know all the details, but... What are you trying to say? It's too similar. What is? The cause of death. Didn't the arms tech president and the DARPA chief, I mean, decoy octopus, die of something that looked like a heart attack? Yeah. Well, apparently, Fox Die kills its victims by simulating a heart attack. No. You're telling me that Naomi was behind it? Snake, try to remember. Did Naomi give you some kind of injection? Nanomachines. She was in the best position to have done it, but I don't know what her motive was. Does the Colonel know? I'm not sure. But he still hasn't questioned her. Okay, I'll ask him myself. Colonel, what's new with the Naomi situation? I just placed Naomi under arrest. Arrest? She was sending coded messages towards the Alaskan base. I didn't want to believe it, but she must be working with the terrorists. Are you sure? I'm afraid so. She's being interrogated now. What kind of interrogation? Well, I'd like to avoid the rough stuff, but we don't even have any sodium pentothal here. Call me if you find out anything. So it's true, isn't it? Naomi, I can't believe it. That means the Fox Dye vaccine must be around somewhere. Listen, I've got bigger things to worry about. But Snake, you might be infected too, you know. All I can do is leave it up to the Colonel. got to warm the key up. Find some place hot. What about Naomi? Sorry, Snake. I'm still investigating. What can I do for you, Snake? Snake, in China, they say, when walking through a melon patch, don't adjust your sandals. That means that when things get really bad, you have to try to remember what's important. Keep things in the proper perspective, okay? I cannot believe it! Dr. Naomi working with the terrorists? I don't want to believe it either. But if what Campbell says is true... I know. Nastasha, have you ever heard of Fox Die? Fox die. No, sorry. I never heard of it. Oh well, forget about it. So Naomi's a spy, just like I thought. Campbell is hiding something too. But that's okay. Fox die is a virus, a biological weapon. There must be a vaccine. We can worry about getting that later, Snake, but right now you've got to focus on re-inputting those detonation codes, okay? Naomi's an enemy spy? I can't believe it. I don't want to believe it either, but... Snake, leave it to Colonel Campbell. You've got to concentrate on re-inputting that detonation code. You're right.
room in the boiler room? Those pipes are really old. Once in a while they blow out steam, so be careful. You call this once in a while? Looks like you changed the shape correctly. The last card key goes in the far right terminal in the control room. But be careful. If you're in a cold place for too long, it'll change back to its original shape. You need to hurry. You did it. That's the last one. Hurry to the control room. The key changed shape. Hurry to the control room. That's the last key. Master, I've never heard you so excited. are busy right now. I'm on a different codec. Naomi, is what the colonel says true? Yes, but not everything I said was a lie. Who are you? I don't know myself. I don't know my real name or even what my parents looked like. I bought all my identification, but my reason for getting into genetics was true. Because you want to know yourself, right? That's right. I want to know where I came from, my, my age, my race, anything. Naomi. I was found in Rhodesia sometime in the 80s, a dirty little orphan. Rhodesia? What's now known as Zimbabwe? Yes. Rhodesia was owned by England until 1965 and there were lots of Indian laborers around. That's probably where I got my skin color from, but I'm not even sure about that. Naomi, you're too worried about the past. Isn't it enough to understand who you are now? Understand who I am now? Why should I? No one else tries to understand me. I was alone for so long. Until I met my big brother. And him. Your big brother? Yes. Frank Yeager. What? He was a young soldier. When he picked me up near the Zambezi River. I was half dead from starvation, and he shared his rations with me. Yes, Frank Yeager. The man who you destroyed was my brother and my only family. No. Gray Fox? We survived that hell together, Frank and I. He protected me. He's my one connection. The only connection I have to my past. And he brought you back to America? No. I was in Mozambique when he came. Who is he? 
You mean Big Boss? Yes. He brought us to this land of freedom, this America. And then he and my brother went back to Africa to continue the war. And that's when it happened. You killed my benefactor and sent my brother home a cripple. I vowed revenge and joined Foxhound. I knew it was my best chance to meet you and I prayed for the day that I would. So, were your prayers answered? Yes. I waited two long years. To kill me? Is that all you cared about? Yes. That's right. Two years. You were all I thought about for two long years. Like some kind of twisted obsession. Do you still hate me? Not exactly. I was partly wrong about you. What about Liquid and the others? <laughs> I'll have my revenge on them too. Naomi, you didn't kill that doctor too, did you? The one that used Gray Fox for his genome experiments? Dr. Clark? No. That was my brother. Afterwards, I covered it up and helped him hide out. So that ninja... I mean, Gray Fox... He's come here to kill me? I don't think so. I think he just came here to fight you. I wasn't sure before, but now I think I understand. A final battle with you. That's all he lives for. I'm sure of it. Fox... No. Naomi, tell me something. About Fox Dye? Fox Dye is a type of retrovirus that targets and kills only specific people. First, it infects the macrophages in the victim's body. Fox Dye contains smart enzymes created through protein engineering. They're programmed to respond to specific genetic patterns in the cells. Those enzymes recognize the target's DNA? Right. They respond by becoming active and using the macrophages they begin creating TNF Epsilon. Huh? It's a type of cytokine, a peptide which causes cells to die. The TNF Epsilon is carried along the bloodstream to the heart where they attach to the TNF receptors in the heart cells. And then, they cause a heart attack? The heart cells suffer a shock and undergo an extreme apoptosis. Then, the victim dies. Apoptosis? You mean the heart cells commit suicide? Naomi. What? You must have programmed that thing to kill me too, right? Do I still have time? Naomi. I don't blame you for wanting me dead, but I can't go yet. I still have a job to do. Listen, Snake. I'm not the one who made the decision to use Fox Dye. Huh? You weren't? No. You were injected with Fox Dye as a part of this operation. I just wanted to let you know that. No, that's not the whole truth. Huh? The real thing I wanted to tell you was... Snake, I... I... Hey, what are you doing? <gasps> Snake! Naomi! Snake, I can't allow Naomi to make any more unauthorized transmissions. What? Naomi's been removed from this operation. What happened to Naomi? What did she mean when she said that Fox Die was a part of this operation? Colonel, let me talk to her. I won't. She's under arrest. Colonel, you double-crossed me. Snake, there's no time for that. Right now, your job is to stop Metal Gear. Okay, Snake? What's new with Naomi? She's being interrogated, Snake. Leave her to me. You just worry about stopping Metal Gear. Please, Snake. I consider you my friend. Please believe that. Snake, we're just about out of time. Get to the control room. 
Nastasha, I'm going to ask you one more time. Do you know anything about Fox Die and the real nature of this operation? Sorry, I have not been told anything about that. That's funny. The Colonel said almost exactly the same thing. Sorry, I didn't mean to sound sarcastic. I believe you. It's extremely cold there, Snake. If you don't hurry, your sea rations will freeze. Snake, Naomi's under arrest. What the hell is happening over there? What's the Colonel thinking? Campbell is... I'm sorry, I can't say anymore. But please believe me, I'm here to help you until the end. Please, Nick, don't give up. I can't really blame Dr. Naomi. I feel sorry for her. Ever since I was a little kid, I always hated my first name. Hal, isn't it? Yeah, but I'm not a computer, I'm a human. My grandfather taking part in the Manhattan Project, my father being born on the day of the Hiroshima bomb, I hated every part of that. My name, my father, my grandfather, it felt like all those things were a ball and chain around my legs, dragging me down. But now that I think about it, I realize that I was blessed. At least I know who I am, where I came from. But Dr. Naomi didn't even know who her parents were, what her real name was. She must have been a very lonely little girl. Otacon. Sorry, Snake. I guess right now you should focus on re-inputting those PAL codes. Fox died to take her revenge on you. Yeah, but she said she wasn't the one who made the decision to use it. According to her, it was just one part of this operation. Hmm. If this goes all the way up to Campbell, it might not be so easy to get that vaccine. Oh well, forget about it. <laughs> 